Hello there, in this episode we are going to be talking about how effective the nanite is. Um, this video is not to show you how to do something, it's rather about how important um, using nanite in your Unreal Engine 5 project is. Uh, just to make sure you make, uh, make sure you go ahead in project settings and make sure it's set on SM6 and default RHI is set to DirectX 12. Uh, by the way, the Nanite works on DirectX 11 as well. I'll show you how. Okay, so I have a scene uh, and I have one mesh, I've called it test mesh, and I've duplicated it like 5,000 times. It's a lot of mesh, you know. Um, so let me stat um, FPS. So my FPS is around 40, 50, something like that. Um, this is a pretty complicated static mesh with a lot of material slots in it. I didn't change the materials because I don't have the um, right to use the original materials. So this is what you'll get right now. Um, a lot of materials, each one of these materials um, is one draw call which makes this mesh perfect for a test. So you saw the frame rate, right? I'm going to disable nanite uh, and I'm going to make sure that the percent triangle is set to something 30 to make sure that it's as optimized as possible. Save. I'll Okay, now my frame, frame rate is definitely different. So if I go ahead and type in stat RHI, you'll see that I have uh, the draw primitive calls right now is a thousand three hundred and something. Um, I am sh pretty sure that the draw primitive calls should be around twenty thousand, but um, the base instancing of Unreal Engine Five does the job pretty well and hand handles everything pretty well that even without nanite these draw calls is not as bad but if you go ahead and make sure that the nanite is enabled oh by the way look at the triangles round about uh, 45 million triangles if you go ahead and enable nanite i'll keep triangle percentage it's at 50 fallback triangle percent is at 10 apply save and look at the draw primitive calls 870 and the triangle drone um, got reduced to 1 million and 5 uh, it's 1 billion I'm sorry no it's 1 million 1 million five five hundred thousand or something but the draw primitive calls makes it uh, incredible for this right so make sure you always use nanite because it just makes the game makes the uh, the performance much much better without it uh, with it without it the performance is definitely worse okay um stats rhi let's get rid of that so what if you don't want to support uh directx 12 and you want to go on with directx 11 well it works somehow uh, it just works not as good let's put it that way so let's go ahead and try that I have to restart the editor now so I'm going to pause the um, pause the video for a second um, okay the engines running again um, if you go into the windows let's check double check everything all together uh, so DirectX 11 is set to SM5 and the default RHI is set to DirectX 11. Okay, let's see the stats. First of all, set FPS to see our FPS. Um, if you remember, it was around between 40 and 50 in DirectX 11, but in DirectX, I'm sorry, in DirectX 12, but in DirectX 11, it's like 10 FPS less. So if we go into stats, that or I try to see the draw calls yeah um, you couldn't say that nanite's not working oh the 
Um, it definitely reduced the draw calls because. Uh, if you go ahead and disable the nanite in the mesh, you'll see that the draw call is definitely higher than what it was actually. And triangles round is 52 million, but with nanite enabled, you'll see that it reduced it. Not the draw calls though, it reduced the triangles count drastically and it reduced the draw calls just a little bit um, so here's a conclusion if you're working on uh, on PC by the way you can use nanite in mobile as well it will be on a uh, future episode of tutorials if you're working on PC make sure you are using Unreal Engine 5 and make sure you are um, using nanite in DirectX 12 if you want to you can expose the uh, RHI change to the user but if they just happen to use DirectX 11 by default or if they don't know how good is DirectX 12 then you're in trouble it will mean that the performance is worse 10 frames per second it's just a lot of numbers the performance will be worse in DirectX 11 um, and your game is not going to be as effective as you want it to be so make sure you go ahead and always use DirectX 12 but if you can't that's no problem Nanite still works um, and that's it that's pretty much it I hope this video helps someone I hope you always use Nanite this is an incredible technology that all of us have to utilize it use it in our project and make sure that it stays there in the project. Okay. Um, have a great day. Bye.